guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this daytime look. I paired neutral eyes with a matte coral lip. And I'm filming with my new camera, so if you notice a difference, please leave a comment down below. I'm trying to, you know, get my quality on point. I know my lighting is a little wonky still, but at least I upgraded my camera. Anyway, stay tuned, keep watching if you'd like to know how I got this look. For this look, I'm starting with my eyes and I'm using pieces of tape to guarantee that I get a really crisp line with my eyeshadow since I'm not using a classic eyeliner. I'm going in with my Tartlet Tees and my first color I'm using is the color Whisper which is this really pretty matte pastel pink and I'm using that as my base color. For my crease I'm going in with First Kiss and I'm applying that with a crease brush in Wish A Wipe Emotions. And I'm building up the color slowly. This is my first time using this palette. And of course I have to blend. For my outer V, I'm using the color BFF, which is a matte plum color, and it's super pretty. This one, this color is going to act as my wing for this look. And I'm building it up slowly with a small crease brush. And I zoomed you in closer so you guys can see um, how I'm building the color up. I'll zoom in in just a minute. And for my lid, what I'm using right now is First Kiss as well on a flat shader brush. And I'm packing that on my lid. Here's the zoom. Yeah, so I zoomed you in so you can see um, how the colors are blending together. Which, I love this palette. It's only six colors, but all of them work so well together. For my inner corner, I'm using the color Crush, which is a sparkling gold. And then I'm going to apply that in the middle of my eye with my finger just to add a slight shimmer. And I used the matte white from my Milani palette for my eyebrow highlight because I didn't like the color wink in the Tartlet Tees. It wasn't showing up very well. For my eyelashes, I'm using Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. And I have to say this is my new favorite mascara. It used to be the Better Than Sex by Too Faced, but I find that this brush is a lot more manageable because it's not quite so huge. So definitely my new favorite mascara. For my foundation, I'm going in with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea, my Becca Backlight Primer, and my Vitamin E Oil, because I wanted a really dewy look. To highlight, I'm using my Maybelline Master Conceal in the color Fair, and I'm just blending that out with my beauty sponge in all the normal areas that I would highlight. I didn't color correct in this video for some reason. I don't know why, but maybe I didn't need it that day. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set my highlighted areas and to cut my cheekbone a little bit since I'm not contouring in this video. And I'm applying that powder with a damp beauty sponge. And I don't bake under my eyes because I don't like um, the effect that it gives. Like for some reason it always looks cakey. So I just bake on my nose and on my cupid's bow and everywhere else except my eyes basically. And then I'm just going to dust that away. And for my cheeks, I'm using this sample of Tarte's Cheek Tint. And I don't know what I think about this. I kind of don't like it because it didn't show up very well. And it wasn't pink. It was more of a brownish pink. So I think I'm going to play around with it a little bit. And I'll give my opinion on it later. For my highlight, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the in the quad that glow and I'm using the yellowish color on the bridge of my nose and then I'm mixing a whole bunch to add a highlight to the tip of my nose. I'm just basically using every color in this palette to highlight because you, you guys know I love the glow and this palette is ideal for that. They also have it in 
um, it's called That Gleam, which is for um, people with uh, pink undertones, but the That Glow palette is for people with yellow undertones, so that's why I have it. And then I'm going in with my bottom lashes with the same mascara, the Tarte the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, so I'm just going in with my bottom mascara, and then I'm using Tarte's Nurturing Lip Balm for my lips, and I really like this color. And you might be wondering how I made it matte, because it's obviously not matte right now. But I went in with my Smashbox Insta Matte. I bet you guys forgot about that. Um, it is able to make any lipstick matte, so that's what I did. And that's how I made that color matte. Of course, finished with some finishing spray, and that's the finished look. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I'll make sure to list all the products I use down in the description box as well, just in case for, bleh, bleh. <laughs> just in case I forgot to say anything during my voiceover. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this hair. I know I've been wearing it in a couple of videos and I bet you guys are wondering where it's from so I'm probably going to be doing a update video on this hair a little prematurely because it has I have a lot to say about this hair I mean yeah I got a lot to say anyway guys until my next video bye